testing front, Becton Dickinson just received FDA approval for emergency use of its rapid antigen test for coronavirus. Now, this can produce results in 15 minutes, and it's portable, just slightly bigger than an iPhone. Joining me first on CNBC with details is Tom Poland, the president and CEO of Becton Dickinson. Welcome. It's good to have you. Thank you, Kelly. Thanks for having me. So tell me what an antigen test is and how it's different from other types of tests on the market. Yeah. Kelly, so as, as you just mentioned earlier, there's certainly a growing need for tests. We see public health experts agree that testing has a critical role to help mitigate the spread that we're seeing now in, in new locations across the U.S. And for that testing to work, preferably it's going to be more accessible and more real-time, which is what antigen testing allows. Our, our Veritor platform, as you mentioned, is a handheld device. It's about a little larger than the size of a cell phone with results in about 15 minutes, a highly portable instrument. And we think it can be a real game changer for COVID-19 diagnostics to help uh, expand testing, again, in 15 minutes into communities right on the front line so that people can be more informed and better prepared to help prevent those new spikes and additional waves of COVID-19 by enabling uh, healthcare workers to quickly diagnose patients, quarantine those individuals, and yeah. trace their contacts. Would you liken this to the flu test that we are all used to getting, you know, with urgent care at your doctor's office, that type of experience? It is the exact same. So we actually have about 25,000 Veritor instruments already located in, in all 50 states in the U.S., and uh, we're one of the leaders in flu testing and strep tests that uh, the kids believe they have strep throat. It typically would get tested on a device like Veritor. Uh, we sell strep tests on the same instrument. And so we're adding this test for COVID-19 to that exact same platform that people are used to getting flu and, and strep throat tested. So there will be definitely a level of familiarity. You're the second mover to this space, Quidel, Quidel uh, first to come here. In fact, I believe the CEO said, you know, we need another player here. There's so much demand that we can barely keep up with it. Uh, is there capacity for both of you to basically get in here and give this market as many tests as it can possibly demand? And if so, how do you think that will change the nature of how we're able to track the spread of coronavirus around this country? Certainly the, the availability of a 15-minute test for the front line in healthcare care clinics and doctor's offices and urgent care centers, retail pharmacy clinics, having millions of tests available there in essentially real time we think will have a tremendous impact in helping to stop the spread and also potentially help to, to reopen the economy. We believe that there's going to be significant demand for uh, both both providers of these tests. We're expecting to produce over 10 million tests or about 10 million tests from July through September. And then as of the end of September, be producing about 2 million tests per week here. So wow. um, really ramping up our, our production uh, to, to help meet the needs. Your shares are up about 3% on the news today. $20 or so, is that what, what we should, ask, you know, kind of roughly estimate these tests will cost providers? Yeah, to, to democratize testing and to, to put it in the hands of the frontline uh, workers around the country, it needs to be affordable. And so, actually, if you think about this versus molecular tests, think about a molecular platform. The instrument itself costs tens of thousands of dollars or over $100,000 very often. This instrument on the Veritor is several hundred dollars, very inexpensive, and the cost per test is about half the price of a molecular test, um, a little over $20 a test. So final um, to, to our health care provider. 